We're looking for what we think. What's the question? I said, what, what, how satisfied are you with what Canada, what you're hearing from Canada about the release of hostages held by Hamas? And do you think there's anything more Canada could or should be doing? Look, the bottom line is the hostages need to be released. They've been in captivity now for a month. We have to be very unequivocal and clear about that as a country. And I would encourage the government to be unequivocal and clear in their statements around this to ensure that there's pressure on Hamas to release all the hostages. There are babies, teenagers, seniors that have been held in captivity now for over a month. Uh, they have to be released. Do you think what you've heard so far would be unequivocal? Would you say what you've heard from the Prime Minister and from the government to this point has been unequivocal because you say they need to be? You know, I've said my position on it. Uh, I think you can't say it enough. I think every time they make a statement about the situation in the Middle East, it should be prefaced with the, the statement that they demand that the hostages be released now. That should be the number one priority of this government in terms of its foreign policy position as it relates to the situation in Gaza. So what do you Thanks. think of the uh, recent reports of anti-Semitism? Oui, oui. Vous pouvez parler de la situation à Gaza? Est-ce que vous trouvez que le gouvernement canadien ne va pas assez vite pour régler les Canadiens qui sont coincés là-bas? Moi, je pense que la ministre Joly fait ça dans un cadre sécuritaire. On ne peut pas rentrer là et aller chercher chaque personne à la fois. Je pense qu'il y a une question de sécurité. Donc moi, je pense qu'ils font le possible. Il y a des gens qui, qui étaient autour du Parlement ce matin et qui réclamaient un cessez-le-feu. Est-ce que, de votre côté, c'est toujours la trêve humanitaire que vous privilégiez ou, selon vous, serait temps peut-être de, de, de déclarer un cessez-le-feu pour permettre au moins de sortir des gens ou encore même les otages? Non, pas pour moi. Moi, tant aussi longtemps qu'il y a des terroristes qui sont là, qui vont, qui vont reprendre la guerre de toute façon, moi, je pense qu'il faut que ces gens-là soient neutralisés avant d'avoir une trêve. Sans ça, je veux dire, ça va faire leur affaire qu'il y ait une trêve. Ils vont se réorganiser, puis ça va reprendre. Donc, même pas de trêve. Non. non. Ah, C'est quoi des, des propos de l'imam, M. Charkaoui, à Montréal? Complètement déplacé. Aussi bien que le numéro 2 du, euh, du Hamas qui a déclaré au Liban euh, qu'il va y avoir euh, des dizaines encore de 6 octobre, des centaines, même des milliers. Eux, dans le fond, c'est d'éradiquer Israël de la carte du monde. Je pense qu'il faut que les policiers s'occupent de ça. J'aurais les mêmes propos envers vous, envers euh, les, 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 euh, les gays, envers euh, les femmes. Euh, je serais arrêté par les policiers tout de suite. Juste en anglais, qu'est-ce que vous pensez des paroles de Dilshar Kawi? C'est criminel. C'est criminel. J'ai les mêmes paroles contre vous, contre les femmes, contre les gays. Je pense que les policiers vont arrêter me. Pourquoi nous we tolérons ça dans notre pays? C'est un ordre de tuer. We cannot do that here. We are not that culture. Yes. Yes. Good journey. May of the announcement yesterday that Canada is going to unlock some public properties to build some of the 3,000 housing units on. Is this a good step in the right direction? Well, it's about time. They've only been promising to solve the housing. Oh, no, it wasn't a housing crisis when they started. Eight years ago, you could afford to buy a house in this country. You could afford to pay rent in this country. Then they came along with their national housing strategy, promised the world, and did nothing. So it's good to see them finally starting to come through on some of their promises to, to, to deal with the housing crisis in this country. Um, but just a year ago, the minister couldn't even call it a crisis. So, you know, it's great that they're starting, but there's a long ways to go. And, uh, and uh, I think that Canadians are quite justified in saying they're, they're going to they're gonna wait and see what they actually produce because they haven't produced anything yet. What do you think of the Premier saying that they want a seat at the table for the Housing Accelerator Fund? I, I can understand the Premier's frustration with this Prime Minister and this federal government. This Prime Minister has run roughshod over constitutional authority of the Premiers regularly on all kinds of occasions. Uh, I, you know, we, most, most recent example is, uh, you know, not just the housing situation, but it's on, on the carbon tax. I find it baffling that, you know, Liberal MPs in Northern Ontario, for example, don't understand that the people who use propane and natural gas to heat their homes are struggling to put food on the table as well. Food bank usage in Sault Ste. Marie is up 60% over last year. They need a break, and they're not getting it from this government. Thanks, everybody. Hi there. Uh, do you have anything to say about the violent anti-Semitic attacks with the Montreal? Uh, just what, what is it like to be a Jewish person in Canada right now? Um, this is a, a terrible time in our history. The Jewish community is 
is rightfully uh, scared, and um, I, I've never, I never thought in my lifetime I'd see anti-Semitism like this in our streets. So um, I think um, it's important as politicians that we show moral clarity around these issues. Um, my main concern is that we have to demand that all of the hostages, all 243 of the hostages, be released immediately. And um, that is the position that I will continue to take and I encourage all parliamentary, parliamentarians to take. What's it been like for you? Have you been on the receiving end of any of these um, attacks or threats or anything like that? You know, I think when one Jewish person is attacked because of their religion, all Jewish people are attacked because of their religion. Uh, in a country like Canada, this just should not be happening. Um, and I continue to have faith in our system of government that, that um, uh, we uh, stand on the right side of this debate and that we will ultimately win this debate. And the debate is around uh, one simple thing. Uh, Hamas must be eliminated. They, are, uh, an, they have a, an Islamo-fascist philosophy, just like ISIS, and they should not be empowered in Gaza. And frankly, uh, not, not only the, the, the Jewish communities in Israel, but the Palestinian communities in Gaza will be far better off when Hamas is gone. Thank you. Like on anti the rising anti-Semitism we're seeing in places, including communities like yours, where there aren't traditionally large Jewish communities, but you are reporting There was a family in uh, Simcoe North who woke up one morning to a very, uh, well, die Jew was painted on the uh, garage. Now, in communities where there's not large Jewish populations, I think it's important to call out anti-Semitism because some of those populations feel even more isolated. It's disgusting and in fact criminal and I hope that police are taking all of these threats very seriously because it matters to people especially in small communities where there's not a large populations. Thank you.